Mama, I made it to Forbes. <laughs> Happy day of pink, Cougars. It's Tuesday, November 1st. It's a day two. I'm Cole. And I'm Zol. And here are your morning announcements. Coffee House will be on November 9th, so start preparing if you'd like to perform. The CIMC and CSMC math contest will take place the morning of November 23rd. It'll cost $10. Mr. Whitlock will be taking registrations between 9 and 9.10 every day from today, the 1st, to Friday the 4th. There will be an interest meeting for the Jewish Culture Club today in room 213 at lunch. This Friday, November 4th, there will be a visit from St. George University of London. This UK school will be here to talk about their direct entry medicine program after school from 315 to 345. Interested students, please see Miss Knack to sign up. That's it from us today, CB. Here's your sports desk. Good morning Cougars! I'm David McNair and I'm Daniel Oladejo and welcome to this week's edition of Sports Desk. The fall season is winding down so we only got a couple of sports this week. Let's go check out how we did. Our junior girls basketball team will take a win against Glebe this week, unfortunately losing their next game to Longfields. Then our senior girls basketball team would also take a loss versus St. Pete's. Our senior girls basketball team would play a second game this week, also losing 39-32 to St. Matthews and our senior boys volleyball team would take a loss as well to Osgood, 3-0. We got a chance to check out the varsity boys football team take on Philman Wright at Philman Wright. Let's go see how that game went. Tier two football action would see our Cougars battle against the Philemon Wright Falcons in a war for first place. Unfortunately for our boys, the Falcons would come out hot today despite the weather, taking advantage of a sluggish Cougar defense and quickly putting up points on the board and tacking on the two point conversion. On the ensuing drive, the Cougars would look to respond but would only be able to secure three points with this field goal from Cole Crossett. Our boys would attempt to turn the tide with this defensive stop that sees Cole Crossett snuff out all hopes and dreams of the first down with that hit. Defense would quickly turn into offense when QB Daniel Oladejo in the offense would look to go on a drive with runs such as this one but sadly could not get it in the end zone, 18-3 at the end of the half. The Falcons would not let up and would continue to run at will on the Cougars, who just could not seem to stop the running attack of the Falcons today. The Cougars offense was down but not out and looked to put on some points with runs like this one from Rudy and Kem, raining in the fourth quarter. But tonight was just not our night. Our boys would take their first loss of the season, Falcons 34, Cougars 3. Tough loss boys, but you'll get them in the playoffs. But let's bump on over to our next set, the senior boys volleyball team taking on Holy Trinity. Let's go see how that went. This week in Tier 1 Volleyball action, our Colonel by Cougars look to take on the Holy Trinity Falcons in a close game. Right into the first set we go. Cougars would come out strong with plays such as this one where Cass Clement spikes that ball. He was 5 for 16 on kills for the day. Mopendo de Carvalho would look to get in on that action with another beautiful spike here. The game would be close all throughout, but our boys would stay slightly ahead, playing a wonderful game on offense and a spectacular game on defense as well. After some back and forth throughout the game, our boys would ultimately come out on top, taking their first win 3-2 over the Holy Trinity Falcons. Great win boys, very well played. Now let's go take a look at what things are like behind the scenes at Sports Desk.
Exactly, man, and bring the proper footwear and apparel next time, not this stuff, man. Come on, man. Nah, no, I'm good, bro. Yo, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. Hey, come on, push. Push, you can do it. Come on, boy. Make sure to go check it out, CB. Now let's head over to Zoll, where he'll show us the top 10 plays of this month. Thanks, Daniel. Hey, Cougars, Zoll over here, and it's that time of the month again, where we've gathered up all the most redonkulous, most stupendous, most superhuman plays performed by our athletes here at Colonel By this past month of October. So, ladies and gentlemen, here are your top 10 plays of the month. At number 10, we see Daniel Shang catch a 25-yard pass from Daniel Oladejo, the Daniel to Daniel attack. Number 9 sees Mapendo from the senior boys volleyball team with this nice spike. At number 8, quarterback Daniel Oladejo kicks it into high gear with this nice run over here, outrunning all the film and right defenders. Number 7 with Cass Clement and this nice spike. At number 6 from the Varsity Girls Field Hockey Team, it's Amy GN potting this one in the net. What a goal. At number 5 we go back to football with Cole Crossett laying in this hit. Number 4, watch Daniel Oladejo show off his moves as he makes his way to the house. Oh, no. yeah! At number 3, we move on to Senior Boys Soccer and Simon Godair with this header. Number 2 with Omar Radwan Mosin showing off his nice backhand. And finally, number one, Megan Young would score the lone goal in the final as the Varsity Girls Field Hockey Team would win their championship. Congratulations, girl, on a great season. Man, I can't wait to see what CB has in store for November. Well, that's it from us up here at the desk, CB. Until next time, Sports Desk out.